What's up guys, uh, today I'm going to be doing a review on the Adidas Match Break Super Skate Shoe. This is what the shoe lo looks like after a month and a half of skating. That's the front of it, that's the ollie patch and that's the sole. And to be honest, this has been one of my most favourite skate shoes I've ever had. I actually preferred this over the, the Jamie 4306, even though I said last time in that video those are my favourite. I don't know, the feel of these and just the look of it in general, it's just such a classic nice silhouette of an Adidas shoe like with the bold stripes. It's just been a great shoe, so I'm gonna get into why I like. So first of all, the look. It just looks like a great shoe. It's stylish, you can go with jeans, dickies, anything you wear. It comes in a, a black and white. This is a, it's like a cream white with navy stripes. Uh, they do black and white with uh, black, with white stripes and white laces and white sole. They also do red, red and white, and they do, I think they do all white, and then it's got yellow on the back. They will probably release more colorways. I'd probably see a navy colorway, so like navy with white. I think that would look really nice. So I just think it's really stylish. It looks good. I wore them out all the time, just wearing them about and walking around. Super comfy as well. This is the insole it's got in it. Um, it's got some like weird, it's not too thick, but I think most of the most of the protection and support comes from within the shoe. So very comfy shoe. Um, fit a bit smaller than most shoes, just like the 306, I'd recommend going half a size up, unless you want it to be literally like vacuum sealed to your foot, then I would go half a size up, depending on how wide your feet are. For me, I wear like a UK 10 in Nike stuff, or Nike, and because I've got dunks in, I've got dunks in UK 10, but for these I went with a 10 and a half and they fit perfectly. So comfort and protection is all there. So probably wondering how it was skating. I'll put up a little mini edit of me skating about. day I got them uh, just some little flat ground clips you can see how the shoe looks on foot and it's not very clear because it's just a, a video but you can see how it looks so as you can see the shoe looks great from the videos um, kickflips it, it actually wore away pretty quick within the first month that's quite a long time actually but within the first month it all went there I had to glue it up a bit and it still went um, Ollie patch never went through because I kept gluing it as well but it's got some sort of weird like like the Jamie Foy ones they've almost put like double or triple layer of suede underneath so it will like not go through as easy um, this I don't know I think that was from heel flips because I was trying heel flips so much on these and um, as you can see nothing really but heel flips are really nice like here I'm pretty sure it like wore away here which is kind of weird but um, of course Adidas laces always break in these two for me I had to just tie it up and I just like glued it. Yeah, that was the main problem. That was the reason why I didn't skate these anymore. I bought the Adidas Boots Boosnets Volk 2 and they came, I was like, oh, I'm gonna just save them and skate these for a little longer, but they came and I ended up just skating them and just keeping these in my room because there's like no flick. I was trying to do kick flips, nothing would flick anymore. My foot would just like go off in the air and do an ollie north. I thought the white would get really, really dirty. It actually didn't get that bad, I mean, this is not even a, it didn't even come out of the box as white like that. It was more of a cream color anyway. So they say white and white and navy, but really it's white, cream and navy. The sole on this actually lasted a lot more longer than the Jamie Foy ones. Um, it, the only place it went really, really soft is there because I would always pivot my foot as usual. Otherwise, wasn't even that bad. N none on the heel and the other foot is exactly the same. I don't have a shoe over here, but you can probably so overall, these, sho these shoes lasted me a month and a half, which is pretty long. I got them from the Adidas website. I used the student discount, which is uni days. Uh, if you're a student, which you probably are if you watch this video, you can get uni days, sign up with your student email, and you can get 25% off Adidas stuff. Um, they had a deal, it was 30% off recently on Adidas stuff, and I got the Boostnets Vault 2 for they were 65 but I got them for 
45 so that's really good I got these for 48 because I only had 25% off but still super cheap for a shoe that lasts you quite a while it's stylish it's comfy it's got a nice flick it's got a nice ollie stuff it looks good you know quality shoe style 9 out of 10 I love the, how it looked looked great with jeans looked great with dickies looked great with anything that you wear skaters only wear those two or tracky so really want to try these again but in the other colorways I might get either the red or the black pair next time price if you get them from uni days with if they cost 45 or 48 then that's a really good deal for a, a branded good shoe that's, that's got nice technology in it and it's soft it's comfy skates well overall things i didn't like about it either um probably just because of how quickly this went away and how much it did um i mean it's gonna happen if you kick flip a lot like i do i guess uh but really there's not many things i didn't like about maybe that it fit really tight oh actually the tongue the tongue is way too long if they would have cut that down to probably about there it would have been so much better because it always got caught on my trousers like that it always it's just annoying like it would get caught I just think it's unnecessarily long just like the other boost nets ones like why why does it need to be that big otherwise price i'd say nine out of ten if you got the discount 65 on its own bit pricey could be could be 50 or 55 max i'd say style nine out of ten and uh performance i would say probably either seven and a half or eight just because of the kickflip thing and how this would get caught and it would just annoy me and how they fit a bit smaller so great shoe pick yourself up a pair on adidas with the discount code uni days um just got this camera so if you want me to make more videos with the vx let me know if you want me to make a video comparing either one because i got the vx 2000 and a vx 1000 now anyways thank you for watching this guys uh check out my other videos and yeah uh take care i'll see you in the next video